that was a lot of hard work today. Twelve and a half mile, two hours twenty. Climbed one thousand six hundred eighty feet, but one thousand eight hundred ninety calories. Very good. And now, right now, a super quick story time. I've been editing on my PC for the best part of three years now, probably since I originally bought it. When I first bought it, it was a Ryzen 5 1600 and a GTX 1060. It's been upgraded recently. I've got a GTX 2060 in there now, and I'm using a Ryzen 3 3600. I've always fancied a laptop, but I've never really had one for editing purposes. I've never had one powerful enough. I've just had sort of notepads and that sort of thing to do a bit of writing up, check some emails, social media, you know, that sort of jazz. Now, obviously, we're in lockdown. We've been in lockdown for a while. I'm still working from home, so I still work five days a week. So I'm sat in the little office on the desktop PC for seven hours working. And then as soon as work finishes and I want to do some YouTube stuff or hop onto Discord or whatever, emails, I turn work off, but I stay sitting in the exact same place. And then I start doing other things, which means I'm just sat there for literally like eight, nine hours sometimes, just sat in the same place in front of the same two screens working away. So now the idea of a laptop is starting to appeal more and more and more. So I've decided to buy one, which is why today is an exciting day because we're gonna shoot in the car now, head into town, my laptop is ready for me to pick up and we can have a play with it. So I'm not gonna take you guys with me to town because we're literally going in, picking it up and coming back. But when we get back in half an hour or so, we'll unbox this bad boy and have a quick look at it. Oh, come here, sit. This is Rolo, this is uh, Springer, you good boy. He's been poorly recently, he's had a bad leg, and he's got a lump on him, so he's been to the vets. So we're waiting on that. His leg's better though, don't know what he did to it. He was just messing around and then he squealed and has been a bit under the weather. He's all right now though, so. Anyway, right, in you come, bud. We gotta go out. <laughs> yes, what a good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you are. Good boy, leg, ain't you? Come on then. This is an ROG Zephyrus G14. Ooh, shiny. Now, all the cool kids on YouTube have knives, so here's mine. Do -do -do -do. It's incredibly blunt, but it'll work. How do you get into it? Just up. Up. Oh, snap down. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. It pops out at you. Check that out. So you open the box and the laptop presents itself. Ooh. Ooh. Whoop. It's the little things, I suppose. Right, let's get a, let's have a look. Stay there, box. Ta-da! So, this bad boy, let's open it up. Get rid of the fluff. It's a 14 inch device. It's running a Ryzen 7. It's the 4800, which is one of their brand new Ryzen 7. Getting rave reviews everywhere if you look around. It's a really good mobile chip. Should be plenty enough for what I need it for. It's got a GTX 1660 Ti Max-Q. Not the best graphics card in the world, you know, when you've got your RTXs out there. It's a Max-Q card, which means it will be reduced power, so it won't be as powerful as a standard 1660, but on paper at least, it will be roughly about the same as where my GTX 1060 was in my desktop. And I used that for years with no issues at all. So honestly, this will do me. It's not for all my hardcore editing stuff. It's just for when I don't want to be at my desktop, I've got the option. What else about it? We've got 
16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM running at 3200. So again, that's plenty, 16 gig is, that's the minimum they say for DaVinci Resolve. I think you can get away with eight personally. If you're not doing any 4K crazy stuff in Fusion, you can get away with eight. But 16 gig is a nice to have. And then it's also got a 512 gigabyte M2 SSD. That's expandable if you want to, you can swap that out. Again, 512 should be enough for me. Now, it's only a 1080p panel, but it's also only 14 inches, so much more than 1080p. DaVinci eh. Resolve doesn't scale the best on smaller screens, especially high resolution smaller screens. So I think 1080p is the best bet for this thing anyway. It's 120 hertz. It's actually rated quite well in terms of color. It's like 96, I think it is for sRGB. So. It should do all right. Again, I'm not a colorist really. I just slap some things together and put them on YouTube. So that'll be fine for what I want it for. And yeah, it should be enough for really for out and about usage. It's also got a 75 watt hour battery, which is quite big really for this sort of device. So it should, again, last me for what I want. If I'm just chilling, replying to some emails, doing that sort of stuff, it's good for apparently seven hours, knock a few hours off that. As long as I get five hours out of it, I'll be pretty happy with that. Yeah. Oh, I suppose I should talk about the price. It's 1,400, 1,400 pounds, British pounds, probably a little bit cheaper in the US, or maybe it translates the same. Actually, it might be $1,400. Quite a lot of money in anyone's game, but uh, now everything's smaller and lighter and the components are better. You really, you have to be spending a grand to get much of anything to really be doing some solid DaVinci Resolve stuff on it. So there you go, dipped into the savings, treat myself, buy this one. So yeah, you might see me editing or sitting at a different desk. I can sit at different desks to make these videos because I can edit on this. That'd be nice. I could do a five minute Friday in the garden. The world is now officially my oyster. Let's turn that off now. I only put that on so it'd make the laptop look cooler. Now, I'm gonna boot up my new laptop and have a play. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Dee.